Hey photographer, HoneyBook just announced their scheduling feature. This is supposed to make it easier for photographers and other business owners to book things like mini sessions. So I'm specifically going to be using the uh, use case scenario of mini sessions by photographers. So using this method, you should be able to automate your mini session signups. So this is a big deal. But it's a little bit clunky. So I'm going to walk you through it. But once you have it set up, you should be good to go. So I want to share with you how to set up the automation so that you can directly book mini sessions from directly from your website. Before I dive into the step-by-step, -step, I want to explain how mini session booking works in HoneyBook. So first, the prospective client is going to fill out a contact form on your website. Then the prospective client is gonna check their email for the booking link. Thirdly, the prospective client can then open the smart file and proceed to choose a date, sign, pay, answer questions, etc., whatever you need them to do. And you're seeing that in the demo. I'm gonna go back. There's one thing in this smart file that I missed, and that is there's a setting that requires them to pay before their session is finalized, and I will fix that in the how-to video, but it was I didn't do it for the demo. Just a note there. Now what you need to make this work, um, continue watching this video. I made these slides when I was gonna do a separate video and then realized that I actually just wanted to change my original video. So to learn how to do this, keep watching. But essentially, here's what you need. Now this looks like a lot and it is a lot of setup, but once it's set up, you can use it over and over again for your mini sessions. So the first thing you need to do is create a project type specific to your mini sessions. You also need a contact form that is specific for your mini sessions. You need a session type in the scheduling feature for your mini sessions. You need a smart file created. You need an email template to smart to send the smart file and you need an automation for all of this that is triggered by the contact form that you created to send the smart file that you've created for your mini sessions. Again, looks like a lot and it kind of is. It's a little bit clunky, but once you have it set up, you're good to go. Tips for making this work well. These are very, very important. First of all, clearly communicate on the contact form that clients need to check their email, including their spam folders, in order to complete their booking. Next, no action required or something similar in the subject line of the email to get them to open it and complete their booking. Thirdly, this is very important and it's not going to make sense until you watch the how-to video, but if you have a payment schedule, so if you have more than one payment where they're paying like 50% now and then let's say the rest of it is due the day of, if you have a payment schedule like that, be sure to put a date question on the contact form and make it required and make sure it is linked to the project date feature. I will mention this briefly in the how to section of this video, but this is very important if you have anything that's date dependent or if your contract includes the project date. The reason for this is that the scheduler tool is based on the scheduler feature in HoneyBook, which creates a session and does not affect the project date. But the project date is what the payment schedule and some of the other smart fields depend on. Um, so that's kind of a bummer. I did talk to HoneyBook support about that and they confirmed that the scheduler tool will not adjust the project date. So as a workaround for that, I put the project date in the contact form that is linked to the project date feature so that everything will update assuming the client puts in the correct date for both. Go ahead and watch the how-to video if you want more on this. Let's dive into the content I know you're here for. Here is HoneyBook. I'm in my HoneyBook in my templates section. There are a number of parts and pieces here, so let's dive in. 
first you're going to actually go into your company settings and you're going to create a mini session booking project type. I'm going to go ahead in here and I've got to cover up my own company information. So I'm going to do that and I'll show you where it's at. So in the preferences tab, you're going to go to project types and you're going to click edit and you're going to add a project type down here. I'm going to call this mini session booking. This should be specific to your mini sessions. You shouldn't have any other project type um, or any other types of sessions going into this to make sure that you don't mess up your automation. So mini session booking, we'll save that. And then we're gonna go back over to templates. All right, the next thing that you want to do is to create a contact form. So this contact form is specifically so that clients can book your specific mini session. So let's say you have spring mini sessions coming up. This is what this contact form is for. So we're going to create a new contact form. We just need their full name, email. You can get a phone number if you want to. Product date is not relevant at this time. Uh, although you could put it actually, you know what, we're going to put that back in there because I'll tell you why later. We don't need their address because we'll gather that information on the contract. Most of this is irrelevant. Okay. So I went up here and I clicked because I want this to link to the project date setting because when they go in to schedule their session, it's not going to be added. So this is important Add project date. And this is linked to the project date field. Um, and then you're going to need to explain to them which date to put so they don't put a random date. So which day of many sessions will you be attending? And give them an option. This is the way I'm doing it. You can do it however you want, but I'm going to use this to make it easier for me later. And then I'm going to add a little bit of text right here. And I'm going to say, all right, and this is important for them to do. So I'm going to put it in bold. All right, this is my contact form. I would build it out a little more, but I don't wanna waste your time. So here we have the contact form. We're gonna go ahead and publish this and we're not gonna copy the code anywhere right now because that's not necessary, but you can put this on your website anywhere you need to. And oh, we're gonna name this contact form. I'm naming all of the things that relate to my mini session booking. I'm naming them the same thing so that it's easy to find. So mini session booking naming it the exact same thing as the project type I set up. Okay, so we have our email template, or sorry, our contact form. And the next thing we are going to do, oh, I'm sorry, we're gonna go back to the mini session booking contact form. And in settings, we're going to assign a project type. Again, very important, mini session booking. And publish those changes. Okay, that was important. Now we have our contact form ready to go. We are going to go into the scheduling tool and we're gonna create a new type of session. You're gonna notice in this drop down here, there's now an option for in-person, which is awesome. We're gonna name this mini session booking. We can put in our location if we want, time zone, duration, So in order to allow booking, I went ahead and did fixed date range and then start date Thursday, May 4th to Tuesday, May 9th. That should be good. And then you can add your time slots. All right. 
There is more I could talk about with the scheduling tool. Um, there are help documents that I think are pretty helpful on that, and I want to move on to the rest of the automation. But if you need more on that, you can go to the HoneyBook help docs, or there should be other videos out there that can help you with that. Anyway, um, go to, to your templates, and you're going to create a new smart file. So go to my templates, create new, custom. This is a custom smart file. And we're going to name it again, mini session booking. All right. And now we are going to, so the way I typically set up my um, smart files is I have a page that is a services summary and introduction. So um, this nice to meet you page, we're just going to add services. You can build this out if you want to. I just like them to um, actually. I want it to be view only. They're not selecting options. If you had other options, you could put them here, but I just want it to be the mini session. And uh, name these. I'm going to add a project date smart field on here and a services recap and a payments recap. So let me actually add a payment section. Um, this is very flexible as to how you lay it out. And when you create an invoice, it will automatically create a payment page. This is where you can add any of these things a thank you next steps a questionnaire any of the things you can add questions you can add text any of the things okay now here is the part that you were all waiting for we are going to add a block to a page called reserve your time slot and we are going to add the scheduler and then we're gonna add the session that we created called mini session booking. And they can choose from, now it's not gonna update in here. You're gonna to have to preview it in order to see it. And you're, they're gonna to have to scroll to May and they're gonna to have to choose from the available days. Um, but they will so they will show up in the final thing but they're not going to show while you're creating other thing to note is that there's one very important checkbox you need to you or one slider you need to click and that is this one over here client must pay to reserve session and if you click the little question mark here you see that some information comes up when turned on the client can select a time slot but the session will only be scheduled after they pay and this is very important if you were charging for this session so turn that on you can change anything you want to um, on the design side of things and then they go in and sign their contract or whatever. Okay, I wanted to go back over to the services page. When I created this, I did not click this box, include services and invoice. And that will allow this services invoice to go ahead and 
fill automatically in the payment schedule as well. And what you want to do, one thing you want to know is that you're going to want to either just do one payment or you can try to do two payments. I haven't tried this yet, but um, if you set it to project date, as long as they put an actual project date, the project date in the contact form, that should work out fine. Note from future Amy, I have since tested this and it does work to put the project date in the contact form. Anyway, we are moving on to the email template. So let's create an email template to send our smart file. And again, we're going to name it mini session booking. You can be more specific with it, that if you want. And we don't have a finished booking button yet, but don't worry about that for now. All right. We are ready to create an automation. So we're going to go to tools, automations, new automation, add your first action, which is going to be send a smart file via email. And we're going to choose the smart file template that we made, which is called mini session booking use template. And that is actually all we need for this automation. So you could add, totally add more. You could add um, a guide. You could add um, another invoice. You can add all kinds of things to this automation, which we are going to rename mini session booking. But for now, we just need to get them booked, right? So we're going to send the smart file via email. The smart file template is mini session booking and send via email mini session booking, preview and edit. We're going to edit this button. So remember, this is the email that we made earlier, but we're just going to edit the button text to say, finish booking. And then you want it to be set zero days after automation is activated because you want this email to be in their inbox just as soon as they submit their information. One thing that you can toggle on and off is to require approval before sending. If you want to ensure that it's not a spam lead or something like that before you send it or that everything is good to go or there's no special conditions, you can select this. I'm just going to go ahead and not have it auto send. And then we're going to close out of this. And we're going to go back and you can see um, this mini session booking down here. You want to make sure, so it says automate via contact form. You absolutely need to select this or this won't work at all. So we're the, these are the project types that we created at the very beginning. We're going to select um, mini session booking. Sorry, I have a bunch in here. Mini session booking is what we're going to select. And there we have it. So when people fill out your contact form. Okay, so I'm going to preview this really quick. When people fill out this form, they will be able to finalize their booking without you having to do anything, which is really exciting. Um, please let me know in the comments. I'll try to check them pretty regularly for the next couple weeks. Um, so to, until the end of January, I'm going to be checking these comments really regularly. Um, if you have questions, because I know this is a new feature and it can be a little bit of work to set up, especially if you haven't messed with automations before. So let me know if you have any questions, but I hope this video was super helpful and I hope that you are able to streamline your mini session booking process with this system. 
If this just feels like too much for you or you want some assistance, please don't hesitate to reach out. There's a link in the description below to schedule a call with me just so that we can chat about what you're dealing with. If we can deal with it in less than 30 minutes, I'm happy to help you with that. If you'd like additional help, um, you are absolutely welcome to book a service with me as well. Um, I'd love to help you get your honey book um, ready for busy season.